Hi everybody, it's me, your bestie who's a bestie, fully clothed and killing it, Vivian Frost here with an all new fucking channel, so goddamn new, I haven't even, I thought of the name, it's going to be called Transaction, a transvestite reaction, it's called a transaction, cha-ching, um, but it'll be up here if I, when I do this again, um, but I'm just going to do these occasionally when I find something that I think would be, that I want to try, and I will then do it here for all of y'all to see. So the, for the inaugural episode, I found this at a fucking very expensive candy store in a mall. I'm sure you know what it's called. Uh, Sucker and Moms, something like that. Uh, but it's bacon soda. No, not baking soda. I think, you know, that might kill me. It's bacon soda. So, as far as a reaction, we're gonna, you know, this is, these aren't meant to be 20 fucking minute long videos. Uh, although, I like to call them fucking tangents. My trusty Millennium Falcon bottle opener. It's magnetic, so free plug. Well, not like a plug, but like, you know, you know what I'm fucking talking about. So, for the thumbnail. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's, Lester Fixins artificially flavored, so it's not all natural, bacon soda, y'all get your fixins. Uh, speaking to y'all, by the way, everybody, happy Mardi Gras. It is Mardi Gras, and being a born and raised New Orleans adjacent, I can, I can, you know, this is not cultural appropriation. This is as the land of my people. So I'm a Louisianian. So it's all good for me to wear these and not be called out for it, you social justice warriors. Anyway, bacon soda au natural. I'm just going to mix it with vodka in a minute because I'm not going to want to drink this without something in it anyway. So. I'm not getting any kind of fucking bacon flavor out of it. it. Tastes like, like it was a some like it's like somebody mixed like grape soda, orange soda, strawberry soda. It tastes like they mixed it and then like left it in the sun. Like it had a sign on like that sign on it that would say, uh, you know, keep refrigerate refrigerate after opening or mixing. And they didn't for like a day, but then somebody put it back in the fridge. That's what it fucking tastes like. I'm not a sommelier of soda, but this shit's fucking meh. Uh, so, no, I did just like, you know, take a really big hit off of vape, so it could be distorting my taste buds, so maybe it's really not the best idea to get high before these on my channel, so I should do this episode and then get high for my top 10 best or drag race recap. But, you know, I like a good soda, and this is fucking gross. It's got pure cane sugar in it, though, so, you know, that's good. But... It says bacon, so bacon soda, uh, but it's just, one more try. Okay, that time I got some, a little bacon hint, but not like, not like real bacon, like goddamn bacon bits. Fucking bacon bits. It tastes like, it's bacon bit water. So it's bacon bit water. Uh, and I used to be so fucking disgusting and poor that I would eat bacon bits. Little, the hard ones, it'd be like a little snack. I'm hungry, so here's a little hint of fucking bacon. Check, check, check. Legit, seriously. You know, you could be ramen poor and you could be bacon bit poor. So before I got ramen poor, I was bacon bit poor. Uh, you know, there's that brief window where they overlap, which is actually a really good place to be because it's actually pretty tasty. Uh, but then when you get the ramen, you know. Uh, but when did I buy a claw? I actually bought this like a month ago, like right after Christmas. Well, that's more than a month ago now. A month and a half ago, half ago like shortly after Christmas. I just saw it and said, oh, that'd be fun just to do something with. But, uh, so yeah, I give this like a fucking two out of ten. You know, this, if this is a two, you know, I don't know. I'm, this is off the cuff. So, but anyway, now let's try it with some fucking vodka. Start not shaking.
Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's not disgusting to where, like, no, let me just say something. It's something, you know, I say it's a three because it just doesn't taste good. Um, I know people like reaction videos where people fucking overreact, but I'm just going to tell you like it is to a drunken high fucking drag queen uh, slash transvestite slash cross-dresser. All that fun shit. Um, so, you know, it just doesn't fucking taste like bacon. It's bacon bit water. It tastes like bacon bits. Bottom line. Three out of ten, I guess. I will not buy it again. However, let's see what happens when a little Russian voodoo goes into a swimming pool with it and they get naked and mixed together. I don't know where that analogy was going. I'm fucking sorry. Funny thing, with the vodka, I, it now has a bacon, and this sounds really fucking weird. And again, my taste buds are probably screwed up from the fucking marijuana. So this was a terrible idea for the first episode to get fucking high uh, before I did this. Uh, from the vape flavor in the mouth. Um, like, it has a hint of fucking chocolate with the fucking vodka. It's fucking weird. And again, like, if I ordered this drink at a bar, it was a bacon mule. Like, instead of a Moscow mule, haha, <laughs> it's a fucking uh, bacon bit mule. Out of curiosity, much like buying the goddamn bottle for fucking, like, four bucks or something. So it's kind of pricey. It's not worth four bucks. Not even if I can try Unless you're a bacon nerd to where, like, you have a bacon, like, you have an article of clothing that has a piece of bacon on it, then you probably wouldn't want to try it. And like uh, Sam said, like, somebody out there fucking loves it. And that's great, because that's you. And you're you. And nobody can take that away from you. Anyway, uh, so with the vodka, it actually tastes, I don't want to get too fucking drunk before I do my actual, my drag race fruit cap. Night, night, Claw. Thanks for sticking around. Um, it's just got, it's so, it's so fucking weird. Like, I think just because they put the word bacon on it, your brain goes to it tasting like bacon. But I'm not, you know, it's not like some sort of like super bacony flavor. You know, like when you come down the stairs in the morning and your wife's making fucking bacon, you fucking know it when you, you know, that's what gets you out of bed. It's the best part of waking up. It's bacon up your butt. I don't fucking know. I'm just trying to make it run. I've ever t I have tasted uh, a lot of the flavors. Vodka is my fucking liquor of choice uh, because vodka goes with everything, combat. Um, but it's the it's like my number one dr uh, alcohol that I can drink copious amounts of, and I'll wake up tomorrow just fine. So like my biology is key to like process vodka the best. Uh, and then, you know, like my, like that vodka is my power, but tequila is my kryptonite. So like, you know, if I get held hostage and they know that I drink a whole bunch of vodka to have superpowers, they'd like smash my vodka bottle and pull out, you know, some Cuervo or some Patron and then make me take shots of that. And I like tequila drinks, but the next day I can't drink, but maybe a quarter of what I can drink in terms of vodka volume and be fine the next day as opposed to like drinking tequila and just being so super fucked up. Um, so yeah, but anyway, that's the history of my alcoholism. Hope you enjoyed that. But yeah, this is just meant to be, and I, you know, and I, um, you, know you, you would think that based on how I look, the reaction would be like, well, honey, these blouses are fucking expensive. So even if it tastes like a fucking dog turd, like in fucking pink flamingos, I'm gonna swallow that shit, literally, because I'm not gonna get, I'm gonna not gonna fuck up these fucking clothes <laughs> or the wig. Or my fucking computer shit. So, uh, but anyway, if you like it, subscribe, all that shit. I'll put up like the links like my other videos. So they are actually probably blocked the chat by now anyway. Uh, but construction criticism is appreciated. Again, check out my other channel where I do a drag race recap of every episode of season 13 so far. And then also my tried and true top 10 Vestite channel where I give my top 10 favorite whatever the fuck I'm thinking of that day. 10 minutes before I have to go get dressed. So, until then, everybody, I love you and stay frosty. Mwah.